tell me, do you think brown envelope journalism is a big thing in, 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 in Zimbabwe? Uh, journalists taking bribes to write stories and to kill stories? Do you think it's, it's, it's prevalent? It is very prevalent. It's a big problem because it cuts across uh, the stables. It's not necessarily found only in state media. It's also found in, in private media. Uh, you would find that uh, the, the, the only newspapers that published the corruption exp exp uh, exposures that have been taking place in the past uh, four weeks are only your newspapers. The other newspapers did not publish them at all. Uh, it's as if the stories did not exist uh, but they were being published in Swaziland, they were being published in South Africa, they were published in Namibia, but certain newspapers just decided not to publish them. And I cannot imagine anything else other than, you know, brown envelope uh, journalism taking place. Do you, you don't think that there might be fear um, in certain quarters to publish uh, uh, stories of, of corruption uh, rather than it being just um, the brown envelope journalism? I think it's driven, uh, the fear is driven uh, in, in, in certain instances by the editors uh, and they f it filters down to journalists. But the motivating uh, factor for the editor to generate that fear is not necessarily fear in itself, uh, but it's, it's, it's some kind of capture that would have taken place between the political elites and the editors. And the journalists, they can only submit stories to the editor and the editor decides what they want to publish.